to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And a textbook interception. Holland. Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. Harry Kane. Hyung Min Son. And Hoybier with it. Crossing possibilities. Hoybier. Now with Davis. A very timely interception. And he keeps going. But timely defending when it mattered. Into the final 20 minutes. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Grealish. A super tackle and they've won possession. Dejan Kulusevski. Now Romero with it. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Kane. Now Son. Javier. And possession lost by Spurs. Worth a try. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. De Bruyne. Oh, nodding it on to the bar. Well, he connected well with it. Maybe just caught the top of his head a little. Skip. And Hoybier with it. Ivan Perisic. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Will it be? Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Diesch. It's with Gundogan. Now he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Oliver Skip. Given away by City. Gundogan. Really nice ball. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Well, Spurs certainly haven't been at their best, but just listen to these fans. They believe a win is coming here. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Now a decent position. Son. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Oh, a goal! Oh, about that for the degree of difficulty. Simply off the charts. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. A City free kick forthcoming. Chasing this game, Manchester City, with time running out. Credit to them for winning back possession. And there's the final whistle. The big headline defeat for City.
Hello everyone, just the sort of weather we wanted has been delivered. It's a perfect night for football at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Hyung Min Son. Oh, he plays. could be in here, Derek. So the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Pavier. Skip. Moving it forward. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Skip. Under real pressure here. Sam Axima. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And saved by the keeper. Long star. And the keeper reacting just as we would have expected. Javier. Just not looking confident in possession. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Superb save from Hugo Lloris. Long staff, and he takes it on. Well, it could have been a better effort, and I think we were all expecting it would be. Skip. Now Romero with it. Javier. Son. And the pass could do damage. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Joel Linton. It's Dan Byrne. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. And given away. Oliver Skip. Successfully cut out. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Pedro Porro. Now Harry Kane. Well, not the pass he had in mind. And they need to get tighter here. Corner kick forthcoming. Trippier. Well, thumped clear. Ivan Perisic Son On to Perisic Javier Able to get a body in the way Crossing possibilities Davis well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Yeah. 
Trippier. Sam Maxima has it. Joel Linton. Corner awarded. That's accepting it intelligently. Oh, pressing really high. And on the cusp of the half-time interval, a story of Newcastle United in front. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Out of play, Newcastle throw in forthcoming. Excellent ball over the top. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Skip. Ivan Perisic. Kulusevsky. Given away by Tottenham. And showing fine vision. Wilson. Dangerous ball. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, the first half still. Back in business, and the lead belongs to the Magpies. Will they be able to keep it? Long staff. A very timely interception. Taken away from Son. Hoybier. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Hoybier. Now Harry Kane. Kulusevski. Back with Son. Harry Kane! And still they wait for the chance. A good and fair challenge. Trippier. Promising move from Tottenham. Son with the pass, but not what he had in mind. Long staff. Son. Kane. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. This is looking threatening. Jacob Murphy. Chance to play it in. Still could be dangerous. But offside is the decision here. The flag is up. Ivan Perisic. Now Harry Kane. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And in with a real chance. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Kane. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Oliver Skip. Just the challenge that was required. It's 
20 minutes to go. Kane. Now with Perisic. Oh, good use of the ball. And a chance to level it. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And he's fired over the corner. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Kulusevski. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Newcastle will get the throw in. Murphy. Dangerous looking through ball. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Dan Byrne. Sam Axina. Long staff. This could finish it. Oh, what a fine save and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope because that would have been the end. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Spurs trying to use space to good effect. The inside route looks promising. And a textbook interception. Trippier. Chance to cross. Putting his body on the line. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, nearing the end of the game, and Newcastle in cruise control. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Sam Axima. That's well blocked. And so there we have it. It's full time and disappointment for Spurs and their fans. be up there with some of the great derbies in world football and make no mistake one team always keeps an eye on what the other is up to stay tuned we'll bring you all the action from north london as arsenal face spurs And here we are in North London. Tottenham Hotspur have made the short journey to the Emirates, ready to face their old rivals, Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson.
Stewart, always something special this occasion. Well, it certainly is. They say this stadium lacks atmosphere, but not today. Just listen to that noise. This is going to be a really feisty affair, you have to say. Can he put it in? Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, threat about it. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Moving it forward. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And the starting 11 for Spurs. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Pierre Emile Hoybier plays alongside Oliver Skip in central midfield. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Will he play it in? Well, he really read that brilliantly. And support available. Dejan Kulusevski. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Partey. Now Zinchenko. Arsenal have it back. Fabier. Now Harry Kane. A oh, terrific pass. Trying his luck from long range. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Kulusevski. And a good looking ball. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. Oh, not great defending. And a goal! Arsenal strike first in the derby. And listen to the roar of the crowd. Unbelievable! So the ball is rolling again. That should shake up Spurs a bit. Martin Odegaard. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now he must favour the cross. And fed forwards. Can he keep his composure? Superb stop. <laughs> An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And now Perisic, able to skip past his man. Well, I think it's fair to say he really should have been able to give the keeper a test from there. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Martin Odegaard. Oh, could have given them an even healthier advantage. Well, it's a good effort to extend their lead, but the game's still in the balance here. Skip. And Javier with it. 
Pedro Porro. Well read to win possession back. It's a good looking ball in behind. But well, it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Crossing possibilities. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Surely the equaliser. And a goal here for Tottenham, who have evened things up. So back underway, one goal apiece here, and out of play it goes, disappointing pass. Javier. And now Perisic. Now with Son, well that is the moment he would love to have back, because it really was there for him. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Martinelli. Granit Xhaka. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Skip. Ivan Perisic. And there it is, the referee's whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Kulusevsky. Well, there to intercept. Pedro Porro. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Perisic. Maybe a chance for Spurs here to take the lead from a corner. A struggle to get it away properly and I think the threat has been averted Martinelli what a really committed first half performance by Harry Kane Stuart well he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point they hadn't played particularly well I think he's had a decent first half but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45 chance to do damage on. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Alexander Zinchenko. Jacka with it. Dejan Kulusevsky. Rebier. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And into the last 30 minutes now. Martin Odegaard. Jacka with it. Martinelli. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Ivan Perisic. And Hoybier with it. Perisic with the ball. It did look on for them, but not to be. A sloppy pass. Alexander Zinchenko. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And it all counts for naught. Harry Kane. 
Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And now Perisic. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Magnificent defending. Well, he's lost it. Out of play, and a Spurs throw in forthcoming. Javier. Kane! Harmed away by the keeper. Well, despite creating chances, Spurs still find themselves level at the moment. But credit has to go to the goalkeeper. What a great save that was. Well, attacks are plenty, but now defensive resilience is what's called for. Zinchenko. Now shot happy here. Just fractionally wide. So unfortunate. Ivan Perisic. Now Harry Kane. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Jesus. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. But they dealt with the threat first. Son. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen oh, to Oh, opportunity them. here, Stuart. And a goal for Arsenal. And that could be the moment that settles the derby in their favour. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Son. Now Ben Davis. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Jesus. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Martin Odegaard. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome. Welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today.
De Bruyne. Haaland. De Bruyne. Long range effort. Well kept out. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a special, special goal from Miles out. So the action continues and it's up to the Magpies to wipe out that last goal. Gives it a go! And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Ake. Gundogan. On to Haaland. And considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues. Callum Wilson. Well, he's lost it. Murphy. Well, not hard to read that pass. Gundogan. This is for Jay Cheetah. Hello, Jay. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. City have possession once more. Ake. It's with Gundogan. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Jacob Murphy. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Fine work from City to win the ball back. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Perfect challenge. Wilson. Has eyes for goal. Oh, he's only caught and burned the net. What purity of hit. Caught it absolutely perfectly. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Really effective shielding under pressure and possession given away. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And reading it absolutely superbly. Mares. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. And slipped through beautifully. Saint Maxima. Really important piece of last ditch defending. And the ball back with City now. On attacking possibilities. Long way out this. Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. They've given it away. Erling Haaland! Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Trippier. Now with Wilson. Superb block. Denied once more. Holland. And what?
what a close shave it was. Sam Maxima. It's with Joel Linton. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. Beautifully disguised ball. Long start. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Kevin De Bruyne. Mares. Oh, excellent diving stop. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And clears the danger. And there we go. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Riyad Mahrez. De Bruyne now. Walker. Mares played into the centre. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Joel Linton. Joel Linton. Chance to finish. It's gone in. And, well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. Mares back to Holland. And a body in the way. So Maxima has still an opportunity. Well, good defending, plattered out of there. So, a half an hour remaining. Well, they have it again. Useful looking ball. And they really read that brilliantly. Not really the ideal clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. But he could run onto it here. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. De Bruyne. Now can they create something? Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Pulling home with precision and style. Superbly done. So underway again at 2 all. Long star. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Long staff. 
A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, the possession tells you everything. Nothing really to split between the two sides. It's been an enthralling encounter up to now with both teams playing some really good expansive football. You just wonder if the coach will be looking at that and how they can tighten up at the back as it's been chance after chance right now. Kevin De Bruyne. It's with Gundogan. Holland being egged on by the crowd. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Might really be able to trouble them here. And you need your defender to take charge. Gundogan, a real opening now, and another one, two quick goals, will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? So the current scoreline, 4-2. And a good-looking ball. Brilliantly blocked. Oh, nice ball over the top. Sam Axina. Isaac. Long staff. On to Sam Axina. Walker failed to hold it. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Defenders need to cover. Oh, this is looking promising. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Trying to deliver it accurately. On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. And we've entered the final five minutes. Disappointing pass. De Bruyne. Long staff. And crossed in there. Possession lost by Newcastle. Useful looking ball. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Grealish. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the... the glamour club in England football but real substance at the core of both Manchester City and Arsenal they meet here in the city of Manchester and we're just about ready to go with live coverage on EA TV hello everyone well here's something we say every day of the week don't we it's a beautiful day for football in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City, and they take on Arsenal. 
Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Happy to take on the shot. Well, leaning back a bit, couldn't keep the shot down. Introducing the starting players from Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Well, they know they need to stop him, making sure it didn't get past him. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. He's in here. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Holland Takes the shot. And he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Alexander Zinchenko. Martin Odegaard in the right place to cut out the pass. Kevin De Bruyne. Holland. Off the post and back in play. Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Alexander Zinchenko. Martinelli. Well, nicely cut out. De Bruyne has support. And he's made headway. Well, straying offside, and it wasn't close. Oh, he's given it away. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Well, wide by a hair's breadth. Almost had it where he wanted it. And it's a quality pass. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, good save. He's driven in the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can keep possession now. And a timely intervention. Mares. Possession changing hands. Granit Xhaka. Can they take the lead here? Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Alexander Zinchenko. Jacker with it. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Shot attempted. Terrific block. Gundogan and back with De Bruyne City couldn't keep the ball now can they counter clinically oh what an opportunity well a wasted opportunity it would have been a decent chance but offside the decision Grealish Gundogan Nicely timed tackle. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Oh, big chance! A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? 
A chance to whip it in. An alert piece of defending. Saka. White. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, but just unable to unlock the defence. Jaka. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Grealish. Gabriel Martinelli. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Can he finish? And it's come off the keeper. Well, nothing comes of it. And that is going to be all for the first four. So back in business, the second half underway and City trying to plot a route back into this one. Jesus. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. White. Moving into the advanced position. And it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Walker. Akanji has it. Holland. Bukayo Saka. Really good challenge. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Our keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Saka. Martin Odegaard. Arsenal have given it away. Holland. Could be a chance to break here. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, so near! Off the post! And problem solved for now. Well, had City gone two down, I couldn't see them recovering. They need to improve here and improve quickly. Take it away. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Holland. The supporters want to see him have a go. What a save! Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Alexander Zinchenko. It was an errant pass by Gabriel Jesus. Walker Interception to snuff out the danger This might be ideal for the counter And continues his run Well we have 20 minutes left in this game 
Well, it's City score now. These fans will go absolutely wild. What a finish we've got here. Well, in fairness, the keeper had plenty to think about that time. Partey. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, nearing the end, it's not happening for City at the moment in terms of the scoreline. Can they change that? Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Walker, plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Erling Haaland, a goal, and it's very much game on here. So back in action, City still behind, but this game very much a contest. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. And no way through. Gabriel Martinelli. Well read to ease the pressure. Walker. Line and out. Walker. Here's De Bruyne. Mares. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Gabriel Jesus. And so there we have it, the final whistle, and Manchester City have... You just feel there's an extra edge to the atmosphere here at the Etihad. Our Manchester City going to prevail against Spurs. And it's live right here on EA TV. And a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. 
Ederson between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Well, racing past his man, but a good piece of tidying up. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. Plenty of support here. Kane. Oh, he's given the ball away. Hoybier. Couldn't keep it. Kulusevski. Kane. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Javier. It's with Porro. Excellent passing. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Holland. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Who can they pick out? And they'll struggle to get it away properly. And in the end, no damage done. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Happy to take on the shot. And a fine stop. Oliver skip. Perisic with the ball. Kulusevski. Regained possession. Javier Kane That's useful play The concession of a corner here Well, last line of defence, literally And the referee has pointed to the spot A penalty it is And a chance for them to forge ahead And the penalty is converted A goal it is and now he can exhale. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Committed challenge. Kyung Min Son. Back to Haaland. In behind for him to chase. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Oliver skip. It's with Porro. And a play for a Spurs throw in. Now, well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Kane. Holland. Effective pressure to regain possession. Pedro Porro. He's going forward well here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Jack Grealish. And blocked for now. And Spurs pushing to add to their lead. It'll be a corner. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Gundogan. Well, they have it again.
Dejan Kulusevski. Great vision from Harry Kane. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Kevin De Bruyne. And Grealish. Oh, the ball back with City here. Can he get them level? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And De Bruyne firing it over. Well, able to close down the shot. And he did well to cut it out. And teammates around him. Pedro Porro. Now Dyer. Fabier. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Oh, great attacking play. Can he finish? And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Perisic. And it's a quality pass. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. Mares. Gundogan. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? It's got to be! And a goal it is to put them in front again! No less than they deserve! Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. He's played the pass up there to Ivan Perisic. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, they might be onto something. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Fabier. Skip. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. So underway once again, and Tottenham really in the mood. And into the last 30 minutes now. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks, and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. saw what he was trying with that free kick but the goalkeeper had it covered all the way so the corner played into the box well last line of defense literally and Manchester City will go to their bench the clearance wasn't decisive Oliver skip and he saw the situation developing Alvarez. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! So the current scoreline, 
Great vision to switch the play. Intercepting it intelligently. Grealish. Will he finish? And a goal! They just keep believing. Who's to say they can't do it now? So continuing with the game. City just one behind now. Just knocking it around. Looking to carve out a chance. De Bruyne. the challenge that was required Perisic well they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity Rodri the ball with Rodri Gundogan. Well, I think he'll be kicking himself. Ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Pedro Porro. Well, his touch on the ball needed to be just a bit better. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Just can't get it past him. And really pressing their opponents. Can they hit on the break? He's got the right idea with that pass. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch. Perfect tackle. Coming onto the pitch. Number 20, Leonardo Silva. Grealish. The ball with Rodri. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Son. Throw in here for Spurs. And taking it away. And we've entered the final five minutes. Mares. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. And well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? And it's in! They've eaten it to their advantage. And this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, if you enjoy high scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Kane. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. Gundogan. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Great pressure to win the ball back. This could square the game. It's still alive. Rodri. And so the referee blows for full time and it's disappointment for Manchester.
Well, it's an absolute privilege to be with you tonight from one of the great world football cities. I'm referring, of course, to London. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. Will we find the net? Well, it might still work out for them. Right over for now, it seems. Well, so close to getting that early goal there, but it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Pierre Emile Herbier plays alongside Oliver Skip in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. And they do like to press whenever they can. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Well, you get the feeling when you watch Harry Kane that he dedicates himself daily to being the best player he can be. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-two, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. 1-0 then. And following the clearance, it will be a corner. Now sending it in. And good pressure high up the pitch. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Joel Linton. Très bien. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. A foul, but advantage played. But it didn't end up being a significant advantage. And so a free kick here. Joel Linton, body on the line. Couldn't hang on to it, Newcastle. Fabier. And now with Kulusevsky. Into the advanced position. Firing it in. And players waiting in the centre. Fabier, it's there for him. Splendid defending. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Trippier. Fabian Scher. Bruno Guimaraes. Jacob Murphy. Trippier. On to Wilson. Kane. Son. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And now Perisic. Kane. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. And it nestles on the back of the net. A goal for Tottenham Hotspur, who now are on level terms. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Son. Oh, a vital interception.
Longstaff. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Determined defending. an interesting pass a goal here giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it well, Newcastle United get the ball moving again can they come up with a response now perfect tackle Kane Can they create something? High quality defending. And getting close to the half-time interval with Spurs holding the advantage. Stuart, interested to know what strikes you about their performance. Yeah, it's certainly been an open game. But on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity, particularly in the wide areas. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And will it be the leveller? What a vital intervention. Half time then, here in the English. So into the second half. Can Newcastle battle back after that first 45? We're racing away here. Kane. Opportunity in the wide area. In position. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Could play it in. Well, goal kick just as it was looking promising. Oliver Skip. Kyung Min Son. And he read it superbly. Callum Wilson. Committed challenge. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, the post denied him. Looking for the angle. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Still alive. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, those stats tell you everything. Newcastle have enjoyed the majority of possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Thirty minutes left for play. Harry Kane. Now Ben Davis. Perisic. Now with Son. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. A delicious piece of skill. Fabien. And Spurs regaining possession. Fabien. Maxima. It's with Joy Linton. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Kane.
And now Perisic. A very timely interception. 20 minutes remaining. Kane. A danger here as he runs at them. And reading it absolutely superbly. Sam Maxima. Really vital interception here. Son. Min Son and Spurs moving the ball with purpose a fine reading of the situation that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances 